give me first Peter chapter 1. I want you to see this. Verse 8. Whom having not seen yet you love. In whom though now you see him not yet believing. It pleases him that you're here tonight believing in the one you've not seen. Loving the one you've not seen. You rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Receiving the end of your faith. Even the salvation of your souls. Of which salvation the prophets, including Isaiah, have inquired the salvation you have. They have inquired and searched diligently. Who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. And then you find people who say, hey, why do you preach grace? Why do you preach grace? You preach the prophets Moses and all the others. And they don't realize even the prophets prophesied of the grace that should come unto us. And the next verse says, searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them. Did you know that even in the prophets there was the spirit of Christ? Because they were pointing to Christ and the sufferings of Christ. The spirit of Christ which was in them did signify. When it testified beforehand, testified beforehand, we just read Isaiah 53, that is one of them. When that spirit which was in the prophets testified beforehand, the sufferings of Christ and the most suffering of ours that should follow. The sufferings of Christ and your unbroken poverty that should follow. The chronic sickness that should follow. The mourning and groaning that should follow. He says the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Amen. When Christ suffered, he released glory to you. He suffered, glory follows you. He suffered, glory followed you. He suffered. If we can establish that he suffered, then we can establish that glory follows us today. Today I reject everything that is not glory in your life. From today glory follows you. I said glory follows you. I said glory follows you. Jesus has suffered. Glory follows you.